The interview was inspired by a real trip made by Edward R. Murrow to uh, MASH, uh, not to MASH, to Korea, I'm sorry, uh, during the Korean police action. Um, he talked with people. He got their impressions of the war. Uh, and it was shown in America. Terrible, dismal film. It was black and white, so it really accented how black and white that place was. It was snow on the ground and bare, ugly hills and, and people just living in horrible conditions. Um, this was at the end of the fourth year, and uh, CBS, for some reason, asked us to add two shows to the schedule. Normally, we would have done 22. They said, let's do 24. And we just didn't have any ideas. Uh, we didn't know what to do for that 24th show. There was an, an intern, an unofficial intern working around the show from, from a university in the East. And we asked her to go around to the, um, we were going to do the Edward R. Murrow, our version of it. We asked her to go around at the actors' free moments and ask her, them a series of questions. We wrote the questions. How do you feel about the war? How do you feel about being over here? What's impressed you the most? What do you look forward to? What do you miss the most? What do you think this war has done to you? What do you think it's done to this country? And she did. Everybody, everybody spoke into a, a tape recorder, and we transcribed their answers. And then I took those answers and polished them, made them funnier, made them sadder, made them whatever. Maybe I made them worse. I don't know. But, um, and then we distributed those pages just to the actors that had to do their interview. We hired a man named Cleet Roberts, who was a correspondent here in Southern California, and in fact had gone to Korea as a war correspondent. Uh, he, he came to ask these questions of the actors on camera. Loretta Swit is not in this episode, not by choice. She had gone east to appear that week. She had gone east, she, no, thinking the season was over. She'd taken a, a gig in New York to do same time next year, which Alan later starred in as a motion picture. There are no degrees of separation in show business. Uh, and we, got, we put the people on camera, say a half a day for Alan, a half a day for Harry, a half a day for Radar, et cetera, et cetera. I call him Radar, even though he's scary. That, that was Gary's beef. He said, I'm always going to be Radar. Um, and I, Cleet Roberts asked them their questions off camera. Um, some, I said to him, ask them some questions none of us have heard yet. Not the actors, not the director. I, again, I was directing, as it turned out. Let, let's get their on-camera, improv, improvised answers. And we did that, and that was fascinating. I don't think anybody's ever done that in a half hour. Um, then we took all that footage, and we chopped it up and assembled it. There was no script. The script was printed up after we, the, after we got the final version of the show. So as CBS showing you know, tremendous faith in these people that made about a billion dollars for them, uh, let us do a show to which they had not seen a script, just the finished film.